we're back for part three of our Halloween extravaganza. And now it is time to reveal our contestants' amazing pumpkins. They went a bit rogue and added a lot of props. I'm going to say they were very inspired by Mandy with their designs. So up first is Steph. Show us your pumpkin. Okay, so this oh. is my pumpkin drawn by Eden. Um, <laughs> I decorated the outlines with washi tape, which is a Japanese tape. Cute and little heart there. <laughs> and if you missed our first segment, which we'll be posting below, good little hack, put a little divot here so you always know where the lid goes. And then it was Aiden's idea to thread a plastic snake through the eyes. Vote for this. Yay. And you Go got fake one. candy things. One. So vote for number one if you think it's the best. Next up, Sanjay with pumpkin number two. I kept it quite simple. Clear. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, spooky. Look at his flickering tea light. Aiden looks like he approved. Why did you know? <laughs> Why did you like that? <laughs> See, Aiden's a fan. Aiden's a fan. You know, designed by Aiden himself. Uh, we have some fake blood as an addition <laughs> to cool. the overall things. <laughs> Quite a geometric design. Yeah. Aiden's a fan. Us. He taste <laughs> yeah. he taste tested it. Okay. And then so number two, Sanjay, vote for it in the comments below if you think it's the best. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then Emily, show us your pumpkin. There were some last minute alterations to this one. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. So this is my pumpkin. It has a cute but creepy aesthetic. <laughs> because that is my aesthetic. Um it's like a cat, but it has uh, bloody fangs, but it's also cute because it has a pink bow. So. <laughs> I like it. Vote for, uh, for my pumpkin. Vote for number three number if you three. think it's the best. We've got all number three. One. Cute but creepy, simple, <laughs> and uh, geometric washi snake tape fangs. <laughs> With teeth. With teeth. So vote in the comments below for your favorite. We'll announce at the end. The winner and they get the awesome trophy which Aiden is going to reward. And Aiden did amazing drawings. Yeah. Yes. 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 Take a bow. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like you people. Okay, now Mandy is going to show us some awesome jack hacks. So we've already talked about in sections one and two basics of carving, some pump Pinterest tricks. Now it's like up your game. Okay, let's go beyond just carving a regular pumpkin, like explore creativity and be a little bit more inventive. I'm going to, okay, yep. put that here. The first one I'm going to do is a drill. <laughs> so excited. I love the drill. I, only, I just started using the drill this month and I'm pretty into it. Okay. It's, a, it's a good stress reliever. And it makes the best sound. Okay. Um, this is not child friendly. Yeah, no. <laughs> Uh, the first one is just making a basic lantern, and you don't have any no templates or anything. I decided to jazz it up a little bit. I just painted half of it black. Um, and and is that just, just regular paint? Just regular just paint? Regular. This is actually chalkboard paint because I'm really into matte black, but you can nice. use anything. Um, for these lanterns, I kind of recommend carving at the bottom instead because then you don't get that line here, and you'll, oh. you'll get your overall ball lantern. That's hey, awesome should we do it? Let's do it. Hey. Ready for some power drilling? Yes, and, and it goes through so easy. Keep your hands away, especially if your hands inside the pumpkin. Do not go through. Ooh. Just okay. be mindful where your hand is. Right? Whoops. Wait, quick. It's so super quick and super fun. Uh, you tr probably want to like really clean your drill bits after because they do get quite slimy. Going. Oh my gosh. This is like magic. Yeah. So we got a this. And I'm deciding just to do the top half and leave the bottom half painted in black. I like it. It's very chic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So put the drill down. And then some magical person will come and clean off your pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> that magical person is us. Yes. Um, and so then you could just add your tea light. And we, you won't see it very well on camera just because it's light in the studio, but it will glow really nicely on your porch. And that's a good hack. It's 
very safe to use a tea light instead of using an actual candle with yeah, a flame. Yeah, so what we did, this is actually an LED light. You can turn it on and off. Another tip is you could use a bike light or you could use oh. those little um, glow bracelets. They last. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, if you want a different colors. There's lots of little lighting options that you don't have to use a real candle. Okay, so option number one of how to jack your lantern. Drill it. Okay, the next one is, normally we keep the drill away from kids. <laughs> um, <clears throat> take your, your, net, your drill bit, you can get these really cool um, circle cutters, and you, they come in a pack, pretty inexpensive. You can add this to your drill. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one's about a one inch bit. And we're gonna okay, do so bigger this is holes. some like serious. All right, Aiden, you might want to step back. I don't wanna. Oh, right. Holy smokes! Bigger holes. <laughs> I'll come around front so you can see more. It's like some good action. Look at how much pumpkins in there. Yeah, right. Okay. Oh, I think he's stuck. Okay. One sec. Technical difficulties. All I'm gonna do is. Size drill bit. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's peel out the pumpkin. This is an oh my gourd situation. Oh my gourd. Okay. I'm just gonna keep using that line. <laughs> yeah. Less and less laughs each okay. time. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it quick, in. emptied it out. No but deal. look at this. Like this is pretty impressive. Right. Okay. Put it back on. Put it back on. Mandy's very handy with a drill. We had a little bit of practice. Nice. Let's, see. Let's try and get that bad boy out of there. Okay. 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 I want to help you, but I don't know how. <laughs> okay. This should have been in our Pinterest fail section. But just imagine we're gonna do you could do lots of big holes. And then what's inside, Alyssa? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal, no big deal. Whoa. Snakes. You can have fun weaving your snakes in and out of the holes. Okay. I like this guy, he's just got two snake eyes. Oh my gosh. Right? That's quite creepy. And you can do the same thing, you can light him up. Tea light. That's awesome. And you can just get these at the, your dollar store. Yes. Or if your kid's really into snakes, borrow a few of their snakes. I found these in my basement, luckily. You know, the random things Just you have in your the basement. The random things you find in your basement. What do you think, Aiden? Do you like it? Okay. Aiden's a fan. This one is Aiden approved. Yes, yeah, so that's sort of your drill thing. Now there's another pumpkin. Let's do the shimmy again. So we're shimmy. Okay. <clears throat> the next pumpkin we're going to talk about is the cross stitch pumpkin. I really like the sort of contrast of like seeing this hand stitching in like a pumpkin. So like it's pretty cool, right? Juxtapose. Um, <clears throat> that's an adorable this, ghost. Yeah, it's not for the faint of heart. If you've never cross stitched before, a pumpkin is probably not the first project you would work on. <laughs> However, if you're really feeling it this year, we have put a video online because it's quite a little bit of a process. You know, you go through all the emotions: anger, <laughs> sadness, tears. <laughs> <laughs> but look at what you create at the end. Yeah. And we actually have four of these, so you can do a ghost, a bat, mm -hmm. and then we have two words one, one that says spooky, and one that says, oh, the horror. Yes. <laughs> um, and I'll just show you a few of the tools that I used for these. <laughs> you do do your basic cross-stitch method. It's a little bit tricky to see the holes inside, but you can do it. And instead of using a drill, which you can also use for this, but I use the awl, which I explained in the first segment. So, so don't use a pencil, actually get the tool for it. Yes. Yeah, do not use a pencil. You okay. really curse yourself. So you put the template on, you poke all the holes, and you're going to use um, your needle and thread. I really like twine. I'm actually really obsessed with twine. If anyone wants to get me a present for Christmas, <laughs> twine is my thing. Mandy's yeah. husband, if you're watching. Yes. <laughs> I'll have more twine, please. So um, I just use twine, and you just do like a nice piece. You'll see it in the video and stitch up your pumpkins. Uh, if anyone wants to try it, I'd love to, really love to see what you guys create because you can do anything. You can download any cross stitch pattern too online and do the same thing. And I think the best hack about this is, this isn't a real pumpkin. Yeah, did you know you can actually carve fake pumpkins? I was not into fake pumpkins when I first started looking into the, the doing this segment and I was like, oh, those are cheap and, but they kind of look if a you're bit. gonna go to this level, you might want something that you could put out every year. 
Um, so getting your fake pumpkin, cut out the top. The only thing is if you want to actually carve a face in the fake pumpkin, you might get this like foamy, crumbly bit. Uh, I feel like you could smooth it out, you can make it work, but I like it for this application a lot. This is great, you can use this year after year after year. Yeah. Right. Now before we go to our next one, just a reminder, everyone should be voting in the comments below. Pumpkin one, Number pumpkin three. two, <laughs> pumpkin three, vote for your favorite. We're going to be giving away the awesome pumpkin trophy, so you've got to vote. You get to pick the winner. All right, Mandy, let's go back to a few the Jack Cats. A few more pumpkins. So instead of carving, some people like painting, there's some very simple painting, like I just feel like that's just a very simple thing to do. This is super cute. And really cute. So we just painted it, took a paintbrush, made the little polka dots on it. That's an you awesome like way to entertain the kids too. Like, yeah. okay, what are we going to do after school? Here, paint a pumpkin. And if you want to decorate with pumpkins for the season, we have these that will last. This guy, my husband actually has a lot of really cool toys from his childhood that I found. Really? So I took this one. <laughs> Sorry, husband, I painted it. Um, <laughs> Hopefully he knew. <laughs> Um, now it's on uh, a pumpkin, and I think that looks really cool. It's, it's really, really creepy. cute. I think that's an octopus. It's super cute. And again, like you can bring these back year after year. They're really like quite chic yeah. accessory for your house. Sometimes, I mean, a bit of tacky is okay at Halloween. Not, right? But if you want something that really matches your decor more, mm -hmm. these are awesome options. Yeah, and let your kids pick out the toy, or like they might have some really cool ideas too. Yes. The last one I have to say, I'm super excited about this pumpkin. Okay. I this is actually like the this. easy, of all the pumpkins we've done, this is so easy and I think the most effective. <laughs> and this is the one where your kids can get really, so this is just making a diorama. So you just cut a giant hole in your pumpkin. And for this one, we decided to do the dinosaur theme. Love it. Um, at the craft store, I picked up some moss, some fake plants. My husband, again, came through with his toys. <laughs> a little brontosaurus, a T-Rex. Um, and that's all we did. I think this, what would really bring this pumpkin over the top is having the comet come right through, you know, the extinction <laughs> and the time. Um, but also, you don't have to go to that length either. You could easily like, have your kids pick out some toys that they love, let them make the story. Maybe it's a unicorn and a pirate, and maybe yeah. you have broccoli heads and yeah. carrot tops can make the uh, Or like scenery. go on a scavenger hunt, find it, like cool things in the backyard, plants, yeah. Grass, exotics, whatever. Let them explore and make the pumpkin what they would like. That's awesome. Oh, I do have one more pumpkin. Oh, Maybe. yes. Okay, let's move this guy over. And if there are any other questions, we could do like a question site. Oh, wait, we have a question. Yeah, um, someone's wondering where you can get fake pumpkins. You can get them at craft stores, and I've seen them on sale early in the season, like for like 75% off. So I don't know if that's the thing, but. And sometimes I find grocery stores will sell like some safe stuff. Yeah. Too, if you go in like the Halloween aisle at Loblaws or whatever. Yeah. And maybe do a knock and make sure they're the hollow ones. I think they all are. But. Yeah. You don't want to buy one that's like full of <laughs> cement, styrofoam, or something. <laughs> Any other questions? Or? Okay. So this one, I talked a little bit about in the first segment doing the chisel pumpkin instead. So. We took Steph's daughter and we uh, took a picture of her and just traced her silhouette on the pumpkin. There, I'll show you. This. Pumpkin down! <laughs> and then we chiseled it out. And I'm just going to go over again the template and the chiseling section of that. So I showed this is not this is not the template for this pumpkin. Um, but what I did was take our template, just regular printer paper, take a regular HB pencil, the softer the lead, the better. And you just cover the back of your design with the pencil, and then the carbon from the pencil will actually transfer. That's so pretty awesome. Once you cover it, you're going to put your template on your pumpkin, and then you're going to trace over it, uh, ideally with like a ballpoint pen. That seems to glide the best, and it gives a really good pressure. OK. So if you want, I'll show you on this section. I've actually olive oiled this pumpkin up to make it nice and shiny, <laughs> so it may not transfer, but I think it will. That was, what was an awesome hack from our Pinterest pumpkins, our session two. If you missed that, you should go watch it. We'll put the link below, but we can also tell you about it here. So the best thing to sort of give your pumpkin that glossy texture and to prevent it from rotting, put a little olive oil on it. Mm -hmm. We don't advise you use petroleum jelly, and putting bleach inside while it works is kind of a stinky, gross not safe option. Yeah. So when you, um, if after you trace your entire design, you release it, and this is really subtle. You may not see it on camera, but it does transfer the line. So that, um, that is what I did with this silhouette. 
I just, uh, uh, I, I did tracing paper, traced over the photograph that we took, traced it on the pumpkin, and then to chisel it out, instead of carving the whole thing out, I used the lino cutter. So, um, like I had said, we bought this at a craft store, and it comes with different tips. You start with the thinnest tip, and when you carve it, you literally just carve the outline of your drawing with the very the thinnest tip, and then you switch it out and put in a bigger one, you can start scraping away. And if you have a lot of scrape lines that you don't like, you can use a spoon for the big areas, scoop it out a little bit, and it'll smooth it out. And then if you want it to glow, you yeah. can't see a glow in studio, on the inside of your pumpkin, you actually would fit out the wall behind it. So if you used um, your scraper or your spoon and really thin out that wall, when you put your tea light in, you get a really cool glow effect. That's awesome. Yeah. Such a little personalized touch on your front porch. And I always feel like when you go to your, see your neighbors and they have those chiseled pumpkins, you're so jealous. Yeah. And you're like, oh, that is so cool. It's so easy. It really is not that difficult. And it's and your kid. Yeah. You could do anything. Any pumpkins, person. Pumpkins. Your kin. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very funny. Okay. Okay, guys. I think that's all our pumpkins. I think it's time, time to reveal contest. the winners. So we're going to give you a couple more seconds to vote. So again, remember, vote pumpkin one, pumpkin two, pumpkin three. In, in the comments, I feel like this is an episode of like American Idol. Like everyone's like, vote for me. Okay. We're going to give you a couple more seconds. We'll bring out the Jeopardy song. Who deserves this trophy? Aiden, who do you think is going to be? Who do you think is going to win? I, I bet you're going to say your mom, but who do you think? Which is your favorite pumpkin? One, two, two or three. Hey. He's, He's not sure. He's Aww. staying neutral. Aiden's He's staying undecided. Okay. I decided them all. <laughs> you're gonna hold, do you want to hold it, or do you want me to do it? You could do it. Okay, let's see. All right, okay. let's see. We're tallying up the votes. Okay, I'm going to announce it. Are you ready? <laughs> three wins. Number three. <laughs> creepy accessories to add on to my pumpkin. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And the voters, of course, whoever voted for me. And Aiden. Aiden and Aiden, because he pretty much designed this whole thing. So actually, Aiden's the winner. Yeah. Right? I think yeah. Aiden is the winner, not me. Yeah. 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 Aiden's so happy he gets the trophy. Trophy, <laughs> trophy. All right, thanks everyone for watching. We loved having you join us. Uh, check out more Halloween ideas at todaysparent.com slash Halloween. And we will see you again soon, but not today. Yeah. We're done. <laughs> Bye.